Hi, Penelope, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Um, so tell us first off oh, if you're eating a lot. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, uh, tell us first off, you know, did, were you already familiar with the novel? And when you first read the script, what was your appeal for jumping on board with the project? I familiar with the novel. I knew it, but I was too familiar with it. And um, the script, I thought, was really very strong. And uh, it's a wonderful story. And Rachel Joyce had written the script. From her own book, Our age that it had a sort of brevity about it, so she honed it down. Because, of course, in film, you don't need as much dialogue, and you certainly don't need some descriptions of countryside because there it is in front of you. And I believe in the relationship between Harold and Henry. So, um, for all those reasons, I thought it was a wonderful project. And how did you see Maureen? Because in some ways, yours was the hard role because she was the one left behind in some respects. And she's so uh, unable almost to express herself, but you can see that simmering resentment that's built up over the years. So it mustn't have been easy to play. Obviously, you land it so well. How did you see her? Well, I, I quite agree. She has a very, she has a very difficult time because she can't let go of this terrible and, um, sadness. And also, what do you hope that, uh, she's, she blamed, so blamed I'm and so the marriage Finding sort of is in name only. Sharing, and they sort of rub along together, but that's about it. And with his disappearance and going off on this trip, it pan she panicked. And she also has to recognise a lot of things about herself and the way she is living because he seems to be freeing himself from the film. From, from, from this life, and she has to face what she's going to do. So it's a very interesting subject, and she slowly does. She starts to make a journey in her head by herself. She can walk out of those four, doors, four, four walls that she's surrounded herself with and, and have a life again. But it takes a lot, a lot of bravery to do this because she's sat there for so long. And and was there anywhere that stood out in particular? And I tell, say a few things about working with Jim. I mean, you're both, you know, absolute veterans of the, of the screen, um, but you know, you, you you work so well together. But you know, you're not always sharing scenes. Actually, you're kind of from a distance, um, but it does seem to work so well. What was it like working with him? Lovely. I did the second time. I was in. It, it smelling like I was a murder. I was disappointed. And I did that, so we worked together. And I meant and obviously the film does go to some dark places but ultimately it does seem to be an uplifting message in there which if, you know there is kindness out there even though it can sometimes seem like there isn't you know the importance of communication and connection and also that it's never too late you know whether you've suffered a loss or trauma you can always you know find happiness again so what do you think some of the takeaways are I think that, that I think that all those men, all those, those things you've mentioned, um, um, are absolutely true. It also shows you that nowadays young people who are talking about mental health and their problems are much more in Maureen's day. You hid away. She's a there'd be nowhere to go. So they have to come through it by themselves. And they really do. And she they do find it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also the kindness of strangers and neighbours. And you've done so many amazing roles already, but you know, how do you choose your roles these days? And what can we see you in next? Um, what can we see you in next? And how do you go about choosing which roles you take on? I'm going to be doing some theatre. Yeah. That's all I can say. <laughs> Fantastic. It was lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much. Getting a film about a man who makes a journey, he decides that he gets a letter one day from a friend that he'd been working with many years ago, who tells him that he's, she's dying. That She's in a hospice in very complicated. And he writes her a letter and then suddenly decides that if he walks to see her, he might save her. Which is an absurd idea, but that's what he's thinking. He leaves his wife, which is the part I play, Maurice, at home. 
So. They haven't had to be really a marriage, so to speak. I mean, they've been in name only for about 20 years because of a terrible sadness that happened. So when he goes, she has to start to think about her life and what it is that she wants to do because she believes that he might never come back. So you see them opening up to one another again. And in some way, they find a sort of redemption. But it's a very difficult road because she's very angry and has cut herself off. So she makes a journey within four walls. He makes a journey by walking to very good. It's all there in the script. I mean, Jim knew the book very well because he'd done the audio. And uh, I'd spoken to Rachel. And also, Rachel had written a short story where years before, meeting where they met and uh, when they were teenagers and uh, one came from a very strict background that's Maury. he was a bit all over the place and they fell in love and they did it was sort of opposites attracting and uh, so i had i read that and then i read the script but if you delve in the script they've used the script jim and i have a similar way of working and we had a very good director with Eddie Donald. So, um, yeah. 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 well, I wasn't, I, I wasn't really involved in any of those. I went to, uh, to, the, uh, to Yorkshire to visit him at one point and then Berwick on Tweed, both of which were. Uh, of course, Jim doesn't always look at the classic archery, but he often doesn't, because well, he's never walked. I say at one point, the furthest you walk is from, your, from the door to the car and then you drive. So he walks along the road.